Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Wednesday, October 27th and uh, we got a little bit of news releases today so let's take a look at them. We got the durable goods orders uh, came up at 3.3% so fantastic especially after a negative number in the prior month. Uh, but if you take out the uh, transportation which uh, creates the volatility in uh, durable goods, it actually comes in at negative, so a pretty big drop from 1.9 to negative 0.8%, so almost over a two point swing, almost three points right there. Uh, if, now, take a look at the new home sales, and that's also up a little bit, uh, three, up to 307. So, not great numbers, but it is up, and same thing for existing home sales. So, this week we had kind of upward trend in uh, home sales, which is uh, good news. Uh, technicals, so we got the stock markets down, and a lot of it has to do with not so much with the news releases or the uh, economic news releases, but uh, the reports of uh, basically what Dudley's comments were yesterday out of the New York Fed. Uh, basically, it's now reports coming out that maybe they're not going to do the shock and awe strategy that everybody anticipated from Bernanke's speech back in August when he was at the Jackson Hole summit. So now maybe 250 billion treasury purchased by Fed over three months. So this is disappointing traders in a major way and creating a sell-off basically on a stock as well as uh, you're going to see in the bond market right here. So the last few days uh, there's been concerns that maybe they're not going to have this uh, big uh, shock and awe, uh, you know, because they're anticipating maybe as much as a uh, hundred billion a month, you know. So so that's a big dis uh, big change from 250 billion to uh, for over three months to maybe a hundred billion per month. So, so as you can see, we had this big, huge drop. This is pretty sharp, and we're on the very low end of this trading range here. So, if anything, I'm probably want to probably going to see it go sideways for companies, uh, or it could go upwards a little bit. So, I think we're in an oversold position. This could change, rates will improve, but as of right now, mortgage rates are in a worse position. Uh, and could remain that for a couple of days, but I do think it'll rebound a little bit. Right now, as I mentioned, it's kind of looking to be in an oversold position. Uh, this price is just kind of in representative. This could also flow till next week when we won't really know until what the Fed does until they actually announce it on November 3rd. So this could play out until around that time frame too. So you guys have a great day and uh, we'll definitely stay tuned to what's going on. Take care.